All right. In today's Finding Faith, we are pleased to be joined by Reverend Dr. Adam C. Collins. He's a CEO and founder of an organization that helps kids and the elderly, both locally and across the globe. And uh, Adam, tell us more about your organization and the work that you guys do. How did it get started here? Well, first and foremost, I just want to say that our slogan is, we are the face of grace, okay? Face of grace. Yeah. Okay. So I was a foster kid myself. I was abused. I've been through some very tumultuous things in my life. Uh, did some things in my past I'm not proud of. Did four years in the state, 17 in the federal oh, system. So I was just recently released in 2018. But while I was in prison, uh, I began to focus on mental health, you know, and how ironically this is uh, female month awareness so foster yeah. kids is spelled f-o-s-t-h-e-r mm -hmm. so it focuses on the right side of the brain which means that we uh, intentionally antagonize the rna okay right and these are the things that help us uh rehabilitate ourselves and overcome the mens rea yeah. and that's what i learned under the second chance act with bill clinton that's how i was able to get uh, my blessings from prison the mens rea rehabilitation act so when i created a uh, foster kids family it really began with me writing to six personalities okay a band but then i incorporated it and turned it into a uh, shout out to the uh, reach program uh Professor Lonnie Silver and all those uh, okay. wonderful women and gentlemen out that way. Yeah. So when I created my not-for-profit organization here, I started reaching out to foster kids, at-risk youth, troubled teens. Uh, I wanted somebody to be, I wanted to be for somebody who I needed for me at that time. Yeah, because you've been there, you know what it's like, so you want to give back and help those other kids too. I'm the face of grace. Yeah. I know what it looks okay. like. I know how to overcome. Like. Like the prosecutor was talking about earlier today about bullying and, and being aware of social media. So when we talk to our youth and our kids, what we do is we, we make them aware of their own mental capabilities to feel confident in themselves so you don't have to revert to bullying. So how, how do the kids respond to your program? Oh, they love me. They think I'm fly. You know, <laughs> first and foremost, I look like I, uh, I'm somebody. You know? yeah, right. you know, I speak intelligently, and I show them that it's okay to be confident and speak intelligent. Okay. Now, this started locally here in the States, yeah, but you local. have it spread out to Uganda. Is that right? Yeah, well, Nigeria? I have two international uh, fiduciaries on my board right now. Uh, shout out to my guys in Nigeria and Uganda. Yeah, so they reached out to me, actually. I had a guy who was shoveling rocks, and he sent me a video, and he was like, hey, Hey, we see what you're doing in the States. Can you help us? Hmm. I said, hey, if you go leave your job and go to the orphanage and show me, I'll pay you double of what you're making. Wow. And he did. I bet he did. Yeah. He did. Mm -hmm. So from that point on, he showed me he would be a good fiduciary with the funds. And uh, $100 feeds 90 people for two days. Oh, my goodness. Here. You know, so uh, he's been a, a humble fiduciary. Yeah, and you, you go into the schools and talk to the kids there, too? Is that part of the program? Uh, uh, yeah, I teach curriculums here also. So I'm in Arlington uh, Schools uh, Achieve Academy. I, I volunteer there. I've been in uh, him, him by hers. Mm -hmm. That school is shut down by now, uh, right now. But, yeah, I'm inside of schools doing some things. I teach on the side all curriculums, math, science, social studies, essay writing, language art skills. I do that. I have my own special curriculum. And I'm guessing, too, that you probably need some volunteers or workers, and you probably need some funds, too. Is that correct? Yes, because uh, Foster Kids Family, one thing about a 501c3, you know, uh, is based on faith, energy, and spirit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Those are the three components of a 501c3, not for profit. Okay. And so everything that we, we generate is really based on if you believe in us, if you have the energy to believe in us. If you see what we're doing, uh, reach out to us, you know, and we have wonderful fiduciaries. We have people who are very accurate with our trustees and accounts, uh, and it's also a tax write-off. We are certified 501c3, and you will get a, a tax. So form. where can people go to get that more information? On IG. Well, right here, probably QR code. And QR code right there. <laughs> the, the angle right is here, the, right. that. There Make a go. square uh, that, that way. Oh, oh, that, uh, there it is. We got it right there. So, there. Anyway, that has all the information. Of course, we'll put this on our website, too, and uh, people can get more information. So. Yes, sir. Thanks for already doing We are the face of grace. Remember that. I like that. Face of grace. The face of grace. That is really yes, good there. So, Hey, George. <clears throat> Kayla.